If you've got a pet or a baby, we've got the perfect project for you today. This barn door baby gate and Dutch door keeps them safe while looking so much better than a regular plastic or metal baby gate. You'll need just some hardware, one and quarter inch screws, and a handful of boards to build it. For a more hand carved look, I trimmed the corners of each board using a razor blade before assembling the Dutch door. It's a little extra work to trim and sand the edges, but the finished result was worth it. Start by cutting the top and bottom horizontal rails to size. The PDF plans at remodelaholic.com include all the measurements plus how to adjust this door to fit your custom door size. Cut the back styles to length and attach the left and right styles using just one screw in each board. Use a framing square to square up the corners. Then, check that the frame is square by measuring the diagonal distance between opposite corners. Adjust the frame until the distances are the same. That means the frame is square. Then secure the styles in place with additional screws. Cut the front styles to length and attach them with screws through the back styles. Place the cross brace board underneath the frame and line up the corners diagonally. Mark the corners of the frame and use a miter saw to cut the board as marked. Place the full cross brace in the frame, then repeat the process to cut the two shorter cross braces to complete the X. Place all three cross brace pieces in the frame. They are not attached yet. Cut and attach the remaining eight back styles. Line up the screws along the top and bottom for a professional finished look. Line up the screws into the diagonal cross braces as well. Cut the cap piece to size, then attach using wood glue and nails. I also added a small piece of trim later to stop the top of the Dutch door at the right spot. Sand the entire Dutch door smooth to prep for stain. We used a Dremel multi-tool to ensure that even the corners were smoothly sanded. Stain the back of the door first, and be careful that the stain doesn't drip to the front side. We used a light coat of charcoal gray stain. We still wanted the knots to show through for a rustic farmhouse look. We wanted the doors to better match our interior doors, which are painted Sherwin-Williams iron ore so we used our favorite color washing trick to adjust the stain color. Add a little bit of water to a cup of paint, then wipe on the mixture like stain before wiping off the excess. This gave us the perfect wood stain color to match our painted doors. Repeat the process for a second door section to create the top of the Dutch door. Measure and adjust to the height needed for a perfect fit. Now, just add the hardware. We used heavy duty gate hinges attached directly to the door jamb, plus a gate latch to hold the gate shut. Handles make it easy to open and close, and a ball door catch attaches the two door sections together so they can swing like one full door. This door has worked so well to keep our kids safe and keep the cats where we want them to stay too. It's a great option for an office or playroom. Use the link in the description to get the full PDF plans at remodelaholic.com. And be sure to subscribe and check out these other videos too.